hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, we're making a gnocchi board. Now there are probably some of you out there that are saying, what the heck is a gnocchi board? Well, for starters, it is not a card game, so get that thought out of your head. What it is, is gnocchi is kind of like a small little dumpling um, that's made with kind of a potato dough. They're quite good and they're very easy to make your own. And the gnocchi board is the board that you use to roll your little dumplings in order to shape them before they get cooked. And that's what we're going to make today. Guys, this is a quick, easy project that is very easily made out of scrap material. And that's what we're going to start with, a piece of scrap over at the bench. Well, I found this scrap of walnut over in the rack and it's actually one and one eighth of an inch thick. Now, truth be told, this is a little thick for a gnocchi board, but any scrap that's at least three quarters of an inch thick will do you just fine. So what I've done here for starters is I've ripped off a piece that is two and a half inches wide. I've saved the off cut because we're going to use this for another part of the project a little later on. But what I want to do now is I want to cut this down to its final length of four and three quarter inches. We'll square off one end and then just using the miter fence, we're going to cut this off four and three quarter. Well, at this point, we're going to do a little bit of layout. So on one end, on your side profile here, we're just going to place a mark at half an inch. Just like that. And then from that half inch mark, we're going to place a line at 15 degrees all the way along our piece. Right to the end. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over to the bandsaw. I'm gonna trim the majority of that off with the bandsaw, and then I'm gonna finish it off with the belt sander. If you don't have a belt sander, uh, you can use a block plane to finish this off, or you can even do it by hand, depending on how close you cut it with the bandsaw. And at this point, you should have something that looks like this. Now, truth be told, this angle that we just put on there, it's kind of to keep it angled down and to give you a nice flat spot here so that you have this nice little angle to work with. You don't want this big old block here. So this is kind of, this becomes almost the base of your gnocchi board. So at this point, we want to drill to allow for a handle. So in the other end here, the full dimension end, centered on both the width and the length, we are going to drill right in the middle, a 3 8 diameter hole that's about a one inch depth. Well, I'm now gonna run this through the router table. And what I have here is a small cove bit installed and I have it set height-wise so that it's gonna strike roughly in the center of our one and an eight thick block. I have our fence set so that our bit is going to strike one eighth of an inch in. And I may adjust that once I see um, how it looks, but what I'm trying to accomplish is a small groove to run your finger in as you're rolling the gnocchi to kind of keep it a little more comfortable. So. Let's run this through and see what we end up with. And just as a quick test, I think that'll work just fine, really. I think that feels great. Um, you'll notice I routed on both sides. That's not just for symmetry. That is to allow a left-handed person to use it as well. Um, if you're like me and you can do most things left or right-handed, then it doesn't matter. But if you are a lefty, you're going to appreciate that groove on this side. So one of the main features now that a um, gnocchi board has is it has small grooves 
that are in the top, which help form the dumplings as you roll them down the board. Um, so that's what we're going to do next. And for that, once again, we're going to head over to the router table. Well, this next step of getting the grooves in the top of your Neoki board is nothing more than careful measuring, careful setting up. So what I have in the router table is a simple V groove bit. I'll give you a picture of it here so you know what I'm talking about. And I have it installed so that it is 1 16th above the surface of the table. It's not a deep cut. So what I have is I have marked one side of my board here from the center point, And then I have marked an eighth of an inch out all the way along the top of that board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one pass. That will get my center cut. Once the center cut is done, I'm going to shift my fence to align it for this second mark. And I can then run it through, turn my piece 180 degrees, and then run it through again. That will give us symmetry of the two lines. Then we will adjust to our next line, run through 180 degrees, and then keep going until we get all of our grooves across our board. So let me make a couple passes just to demonstrate, and then uh, you can carry on from there. Okay, so you get the idea. So I'm gonna carry on and get all of these uh, grooved out and then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, with all of those grooves done, they kind of leave that sharp edge. If you run your fingers over here, you can feel it. So what you want to do is round those off and it doesn't take much. You don't wanna overdo it. So I have a piece of sandpaper here. This is 180 grit. The first thing I'm gonna do is fold it in half and run it down the middle of each one of these grooves just to clean it out and clean it up. And now at this point, using the same sandpaper, you're going to place it into a groove, but kind of tilt it off to one side to round off that sharp corner. And then do the same thing on the next one to round off that sharp corner and the next one. Once you get them all rounded off, turn your entire gnocchi board around and round off the other side of your routings. And with those all sanded and rounded off, uh, this is basically the board. So give the whole thing a good sanding, paying attention to take off these sharp corners here and here, here. Leave no sharp corners on this. This gets heavily handled with your hands and you don't want to slice yourself with the wood. So give this a good sanding and then we can turn our attention to the handle. Well, what I have for the handle is this is that off cut that we saved from earlier and I have cut it down to be seven eighths by seven eighths by six inches long. And what we're going to do is I have it mounted between centers here at the lathe. I don't want to get too much into a lathe video here. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this to round. Now in from the one end, I'm going to give us about a quarter of an inch leeway here to get us away from this step center that we're mounted with. And then we're going to come in one inch. Now this represents um, the hole that we drilled. Remember we drilled that three eighths diameter, one inch deep hole. So we're just going to mark this here and I'm going to turn this one inch long section here, we're going to turn that down to three eighths of an inch. And yeah, it's a little smaller, but that's okay. Um, 
I'm not even going to bother sanding this because that's going to be glued into our Neoki board. So from here now, guys, I don't think we need a video of it because it's all about personal preference. I'm going to turn our handle down to something usable and um, then I'll end up parting it off the lathe. So I'll show you what I ended up with once I get the handle turned. And once you're happy with your handle shape, you can just glue it in place into your Neoki board just like this. Let it set up and that is your Neoki board complete. And there you have it. A shop made Neoki board. Guys, this is not a difficult project, although it looks like it could be. It's very simple, but the key to success in this project, and I can't stress this enough, the key to success is careful measuring. Measuring out those 1 8 inch markings at the end of the Neoki board to get your routings perfect, that is what makes this look like an impressive project. The rest is just kind of sanding and, and a little bit of lathe work. Now, Speaking of the lathe work, if you don't have a lathe, don't sweat it. You don't need one. Um, I have seen many designs of Neoki boards and some of them don't even have a handle. So if you don't want to add a handle to yours, you don't have to. However, if you do want a handle and you don't have a lathe, there is absolutely nothing wrong with taking a length of dowel, trimming down the end to be three eighths of an inch. You can even use chisels for that. And then chucking it up in your drill, sanding away till you get the shape that you want. Guys, there are more than one way of, uh, of doing things. There's always another way of doing it. You don't necessarily need the lathe. While it does make it, for me anyway, a little easier, you don't need it to complete this project and you certainly don't need it to make yourself a handle. Heck, a square piece of wood and a spoke shave will get you the same results. You may just have to sand it a little more if you want it to be perfectly round. Either way, guys, this is a wonderful project. It will last years and years and years and years and it's way better than the ones that you see in the store. Now, those side grooves, those as well are optional. That is a feature of my own design. And my inspiration came uh, for those kind of routed out grooves from this. Guys, this is a tool rest for a lathe. And have you ever noticed that cove that's on the front end of that? That is a finger rest where the back of your index finger jams up in there. And that is where you ride your finger to give you the control of the chisel for your depth of cut. Do you think that you just do it automatically, just faking it, getting in and out? No, you guide it along in that finger groove. So I was thinking with this Neoki board, wouldn't it be great to have a side finger groove that you could run down the side to be able to guide your thumb as you roll your Neoki instead of kind of being all over the place? Will it work? I don't know. This is a prototype, but I am positive that this will be a usable Neoki board. Uh, and I'm positive that the person that gets this, my wife, is gonna love it. <laughs> Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. How do you make gnocchi? You know what? I don't know. I've never done it. That is not my department. My department is the gnocchi board. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll be able to talk Mrs. Kenny into coming onto the show and teaching us on a Tuesday how to make gnocchi. That would be cool. Maybe I'll try to talk her into that. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. You click that bell and then you're not going to miss the notifications of future episodes of the show. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in this week. I hope you've enjoyed the content. I hope you're going to try this for yourself. But more importantly, hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another woodworking video.